Hello everybody and welcome to vimbu.com a smart way to learn anything you want to learn. Today in this session we are going to learn how to create a database table in SAP. To create a database table you first have to go to about dictionary maintenance and there you have to select a radio button called database table and enter the name of your table. We have chosen the name as ztest vimbu02. Press create. This will take you to the maintenance screen. There you have to give a logical name to your table which we would say that test uh, Vimbu and then you have to the first thing that you have to enter is dictionary uh, is delivery class let me just hold a bit and let me talk about delivery class it's a very important thing delivery class is uh, something that defines the type of data your table is going to hold as you can see there are uh, there are various options you can choose uh, A, C, L, G, E, S and W A is something that you choose when you have to ma make a table which will hold a master data which is not going to change very often which is going to change really seldom because master data is something like company code or something so they change very very seldom there is something uh, that probably uh, you want to change every day or every month or every six month that would be something called customizing data so for that you would choose C uh, L is something which stores the temporary data as mentioned over here and G uh, is a customizing table which is only for insert statements upload doesn't work in type G we, we hardly use although every every other type we generally use A and C but just to just to talk about we also have E S and W uh, they're all the system tables so they are generally maintained by SAP we don't maintain the system table so we don't care much about that after choosing A as a delivery class, we'll choose the data uh, maintenance view. Now here also we have three options. You can restrict it, uh, so that will not allow you to maintain a table. We For now, we'll choose SAP maintenance allowed. Now is the time to enter the fields that or, or the column that we want in our table. So we uh, just just for our ease, we'll just take two columns in the start. Uh, first column would be number, and the other column would be name of the company. So let's take the first field as number, and uh, then you have to enter the uh, data element. Now, uh, f just just to show, uh, I'll first choose a data element which is already there. Num two, as you can see, it's a standard one. S save it. Uh, I want to show you uh, what actually. Uh, num2 data element is so generally a data element is nothing but um, it is a business uh, business name or a logical name given to any of the field so num2 is a uh, numeric two digit it is just a logical name now to see the technical thing you have to come to the domain you see in domain you can see the type type is numc number of character is two so we'll come back and um, we'll move forward with the other field that you want to uh, have in our table so the second field as we have just said that we want a company name as the second field so we say comp underscore name and then here now let's let's just try and make a data element and domain so we'll say uh, z comp underscore name and when you press double when you double click on it it will say that it is not created do you want to create it say yes here it says do you want to create it we say yes we want to create it will take you to the data element creation screen here also you have to here also you have to enter the description of uh, of the data element which for us would be company name and then you can see uh, since it's a business name you would go to this tab field tab and you have to enter the logical name that probably you want to be shown um, in in the table so we'll say company uh, name you have uh, four options over here, short, medium, long, and uh, uh, heading. These all uh, are required, You uh, these all are required entries, so you have to fill them. If you don't fill, it will, uh, I mean, it's not a mandatory thing, but uh, uh, your uh, uh, business name would not be displayed. It will always be displayed as Z comp underscore name. So to have a name, you have to th go there and enter the logical name. Now let's go and create a domain. Uh, so domain is something that is a technical thing which will define the technical attributes of your uh, column. So here uh, we again choose the same name uh, just for our ease and define the technical attributes of uh, our domain. You again get the same pop-up which says that uh, your uh, domain name is not created. Do you want to create a domain name? Say yes. And now we are in again 
for domain also you have to enter the short description so enter uh, the same short description probably uh, for us it would be uh, company name you can change also uh, guru data type now is the time to see if we choose an existing uh, data type over here see what system behaves it will give you uh, an error message that you cannot choose uh, uh, already existing data type here you can only choose the basic data types choose cal for us and save it we also have to define the length if you don't define the length for any car thing it is by default as one we choose 30 uh, and uh, it is now uh, new we let's let's uh, first activate it and I want to show you something else um, let me first activate now let's uh, let's let's go to the value range here's something interesting you have a whole range of values that you can um, put over here to get a value or you can define a value table now what is what is this it is nothing but it's it's the search help value that you get over here if you enter a value table over here or values they would be shown at the time of uh, at the time of search help uh, in, in your table so we have uh, left it blank uh, let me let me just activate the element also uh, first so the domain is activated the element is not so I'll go and activate the element and uh, I say activate and uh, it will activate the element now since we have created a domain and element it is interesting to know that uh, these domain and element can be used in any of the table since it is a dictionary object now so ultimately what I'm doing is I'm creating a database table as a dictionary object I have created a database element and a domain all our dictionary object now you cannot create a table without a uh, without um, a key field so I have chosen the first field as the key field the other thing that you have to do is you have to go to the technical attributes now <coughs> let me tell you what technical attributes is technical attributes will define what kind of table your uh, this database object is is it going to hold a larger number of uh, records or is, is, is it going to have a small size category or what type of data it would be do you want buffering or not there are a lot of concepts that you define over here for, for a table as a whole so as you can see you have APPL 1 0 Z we have also our um, data class as um, Z so we'll, we'll choose uh, data class according to our choice for now or generally we choose APPL 0 1 because um, it is our transactional data or you can choose 0 1 also if you are creating a master data so um, we'll choose APPL 1 and the size category for us would be zero because it's like you can see uh, it's the least thing that you want we'll leave rest of the things because they need more discussions we don't have uh, that much of time but generally we know what buffering is so here we are now with our technical setting and the table ready to be activated so once you say activate there, you, there, would, you, there would be one very interesting thing that you would see if I activate it gives me a error message which says that your field number is reserved for SAP so that means that I cannot use the number field in any of my Z tables so I have to say Z number and Z comp name although comp name I could but I've just for, for my uh, knowledge uh, of to, to have in sync I have uh, put a Z over there now just activate it so I'm activating it and it is activated it has given you warning although we don't care much about warning but as you can see the enhancement category is not maintained let's see how we can create enhancement category go to extra choose enhancement category here you can see that not classified is given so I'll choose can be enhanced character type or numeric say copy and then activate although it will give you some warning message but that's because of my system second uh, system settings it's uh, not because uh, of any other reason so I'll activate it and I'll see if there are any other warning messages and um, there are let me see if anything I can get it off uh, and now that's okay but yeah, it, it, this message is because I've already created a couple of table with the same name so I am done with the creation of the table uh, now if you want to see uh, or if you want to create any entry you can go to utilities and see how your table looks like choose table content and create you can also uh, 
use this table directly in your program now since we have chosen over there as maintainable uh, in the first uh, step so here I can now maintain I'll say one and Wimp you have saved it come back now go back again and choose display this time and you would see your entry there you go thank you